you know, you mentioned Guernica, the, the great Picasso uh, painting. And, uh, you know, that's that's a painting that at the time he was the most famous artist in the world. So that sort of had a head start. So that's probably not a good idea. Van Gogh is probably a better example. If you look at some of his paintings and even some of the, the less Van Gogh-y type paintings like uh, the potato eaters, and you look at what that says about uh, the human condition, and you can you could you could transpose those people into some place in Africa or South America, uh, some place uh, in Indochina or you know uh, uh, the Indian Peninsula, and you can you can see the same types of people, and that's a work that has slowly filtered out in in his lifetime. That was not you know. That was not considered one of his his bigger works, but it slowly filtered out, and it, it's touched more and more people. I've always talked about art as the ever opening cone of greatness. That when you have great art, you're gonna, you know, from from point zero when that art is created and it starts slowly disseminating, very few people are going to get it. But come back in ten, twenty five, fifty years, the people who really understand great art give it the word of mouth. They spread the the word. And those are the people that that propound and uh, the art for. This is why you have people who were not known in their lifetime who get known after they after they are dead when they're safely beyond and they can't no they can't be a threat to any power system.